In this video, we'll learn how to get the GPS data from our Singing 91. We are now in the product page of Singing 91 in NordicSemi.com, and in the downloads tab, we have the necessary firmwares that we need to write to our device for this purpose. First, we'll write the SIP modem firmware. Here, the latest version is 1.3.4. And let's open and connect for desktop to launch the programmer tool. And at the same time, let's connect our device via the USB cable. In order to flash the firmwares, we need to put the device in MCU boot mode by pressing the button on the thingy, which is named as Switch 3, and turn on the device at the same time. And once we open the programmer tool, we will be able to choose our thingy from the select device section right here. So we select it. Now we will choose our modem firmware that we downloaded. As I said previously, 1.3.4 is the latest version at the moment. So let's select that one. And we will click on write and then write once again to write the firmware. In my configuration, it took about three minutes. So after about three minutes, the firmware has been written to our thingy 91. Let's now turn off the device and then put it into MCU boot mode once again by pressing the switch while turning the device on. Yeah, we're turning it on right now. Now we are going to choose the serial LT modem X file, which can be obtained by extracting the latest pre-compiled application and modem firmware zip file. And then you can find it under the image photo DFU hex file folder. This time it takes about a minute to write the firmware. So this is the serial LT modem that we need to choose. And we're going to click on write and write once again. and it's going to take about a minute, so 58 seconds. And we are going to turn our device off and on after this firmware update. So we can turn it on once again. Now we can open LTE link monitor from NRF Connect for desktop. And since our device is on, we will be able to see it in the select device section. Here's our thingy 91. Let's choose it. Now we will be sending 80 commands for getting the GPS data. First command that we sent is system mode. Here you can see its syntax that I took from Nordic NRF9180 commands document. Here we only enable GNSS support with the parameter list as 0010. Since I was advised to do so, I waited for about a minute in between entering these commands. So the second command, COAX0, command writes pin configuration to RAM memory. The first two parameters says that we will only use one frequency range and the state of COAX will be one. The last two parameters show the frequency range. The third command, function equals 31, activates GNSS without changing the LTE. And the fourth and the last command, xGPS is equal to 1, 1, starts the GNSS and sets an interval of one second. So after this command, we will be waiting for the output from our device. Since I hadn't received any response from the thingy after five minutes, I had left my computer. As I check it later on, I saw that 22 minutes after sending the last command, Thingy started sending the GPS coordinates with one second intervals. You can check it here. The values received are latitude, longitude, altitude, accuracy, speed, heading, and date time. So I'm going to paste this log right here in order to check the date time. So the first message that I get is at 13.27 in UTC, so so I can recall that after the last command, it took 22 minutes to get the first data.